Sausages. You've already had 12 of your own. <laughs> Thanks, Mummy. George, will you stop him from sucking my food? He's just taken one of my sausages. Mmm, sausages. <laughs> mm, delicious, thanks. You look tired, Daddy. How many people did you save today? No idea. All I know is England on a Sunday is the most dangerous place in the universe. England? It's full of idiots doing DIY. <laughs> Don't worry, love. I know how to use a blow lamp. Don't be silly. The ceiling can't possibly come down. And who has to rescue them when it does? Oh, George. I blame that changing rooms. Why don't you fit recessed lighting? It's really, really nice. <laughs> Not when you drill into the mains, it isn't. I even had to rescue your father. Oh, he wasn't using the chainsaw again. Yep, I had to confiscate it. At least Utley's had his cataract operation. These things are lethal. Can I have a go? Of course you can, Ollie. Just hold it up against no, your... you cannot. It's all right, Janice. He's not going to break it. That's not the point. Boil sport. <laughs> so what was Dad up to? Lopping off some dead branches when he sliced into the conservatory. Idiot. Still, he hardly needed rescuing by Thermo, man. He did when your mother found out. I thought she was going to lop his head off. <laughs> oh, no, they're here. You go and get changed. I'll let them in. Hello. You'll never guess what's happened. Your mother tried to kill me with a chainsaw. <laughs> Not that. We've had a visit from Thermo Man. No. No. Yes. He came and repaired our conservatory, replaced the bit your idiot father damaged, and then repainted it all. Golly, what did you say? Uh, she told him to paint it again. <laughs> well, he missed a bit. I mean, he still hasn't matched the colour properly. He may be a superhero, but he's a very poor decorator. You what? The man slapdash, George. It's like the hasnips after that fire. Thermo Man rebuilt their entire house. Yes, but he didn't sand down the banisters. She got a splinter the next day. <laughs> he may be quick, but he's not a professional. Look, I'll have you know... Dad, how are the cataracts? Well, if I look at your mother, she's just a blur. <laughs> so they're not too bad, really. <laughs> Janet, I've had it with those two. Here's your chainsaw. Oh, thank you. I'll try to be more careful with it in future. You do what you like with it. I don't care. <laughs> really? I hardly think that's the attitude. I also hear with my super hearing you're unhappy with my decorating. Well, I... <laughs> Happy now? <laughs> Purple with yellow spots. It's not funny, Janet. It's very embarrassing. People keep asking when the Teletubbies are moving in. <laughs> well, you must have upset him. Upset him? I barely said ten words to the man. That's usually enough. <laughs> I know why he's upset. Do you? Sexual frustration. Oh. <laughs> These superheroes, they spend too much time plugging volcanoes and saving people. Five minutes with me wouldn't need a chainsaw to get him throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two volcanoes that he can play with any time. <laughs> This is Raven. So, as I say, Mrs. Blake, we'll book you straight in and you'll be induced this evening. But the baby's not due till Saturday. Can't we wait till Saturday? <laughs> Mrs. Blake, I speak to you not only as your doctor, but as captain of the local cricket team. I need your husband this Saturday. <laughs> You're inducing me for some cricket match. Got it in one. Well done. <laughs> Who says that pregnancy dulls the brain? <laughs> I'm talking to my obstetrician about this. You do. He's our wicket keeper. <laughs> my baby born when he's ready. And if that's Saturday, then so be it. And my husband will not miss the greatest moment of his life. So he will be at the match? No! <laughs> he will not! Did you hear that? The selfishness of some people. Actually, I don't think she should be induced. You had me induced. I had a ticket for Wimbledon. That's quite different. <laughs> My triplets weren't induced, they were born as naturally as you like. And the next day I had the three quietest, prettiest babies in that ward. Only because you'd swap them with yours. <laughs> Mom were horrible. 
I think we're missing the important point here. I now play a short for the match on Saturday. I've already four men injured. How? Doing DIY. Well, I don't mind giving you a game. I've uh, played a bit. Stender, you're 66 and you've got cataracts. You can't possibly play. No, you might get seriously injured. Let him play. <laughs> I, I can still see a bit, Piers. Outlines and that sort of thing. Well, oh. I'm pretty desperate. No, but if you're still short, you can always ask George as well. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> I'll have you know George is extremely good at cricket. Really? He's a brilliant player. He'd be an asset to any team. <laughs> cricket? That's the one with the hoops. No, that's croquet. Cricket's the one where you have to hit the ball with a bat and then try to score runs. No, no, that's baseball. I know it's baseball, but it's also cricket. So they're both the same? No, because in baseball you have a pitcher. A pitcher, right. That's right. And if the batter swings and misses three pitches in a row, it's three strikes and he's out. Three strikes and he's out. This is starting to make sense, Janet. You're not playing baseball! <laughs> no, why are you telling me about it? Master, l let me explain. Thank you, Tyler. Cricket is different from baseball, because in cricket, you not only have a bat and a ball, you also have horses and leather-clad women with metal spikes. <laughs> no, you don't. You do in my version. <laughs> God, I've got a video you can watch instead. Oh, brilliant. Is it Toy Story? No, it's a cricket video. I'll just get it. She seems a bit tense. Are you okay, Ernie? What's the matter? That's Mrs. Raven. She keeps going on about you. Me? The Wonder God Thermo Man. She says if she ever finds out who he is, she'll dump me like a sack of garbage and go after him. How do you think it feels to hear that? Wonder God? That feels pretty good. <laughs> no, for me! She's my girl and she'd sooner be with you. No, you're right. That feels terrible. She's hideous. I don't want to be with her. <laughs> she ain't that hideous. She's not hideous at all, Annie. I, I, I think she's beautiful. She is beautiful. In a weird sort of way. Look, I even got a tattoo. Ah, so have I. Right, now he's just hit what they call a single because the batsman managed to take one run before the ball was thrown back to the George Wake Up! Uh, but it's so boring. They've only played five balls. Do many people die watching cricket? <laughs> they do if they annoy me. <laughs> now, he's just hit it back to the bowler, see? Right, that's over. Thank God for that. <laughs> no, well, I mean, that's the end of the over. They'll start another one now. Another one? How long does this go on for? All day. <laughs> Very funny, Janet. <laughs> All day indeed. <laughs> Test matches last five days. Now I know you're joking. No game this boring could possibly last for as long as you're serious, aren't you, Janet? <laughs> and you want me to play this game? If you can help Pierce's side to win, then you'll make everyone happy and everyone will like you. Will the other side be happy? Well, no, obviously not. You'll have beaten them. So I'll be making some people unhappy? Well, yes, but... But it's my duty as a superhero to make nobody unhappy. You're making me very unhappy. <laughs> it's a game, George. Somebody has to win. Why? I don't understand all this winning and losing. George! Take the London Marathon, Janet. One happy winner, 42,695 miserable losers. <laughs> no wonder the planet's in the state it is. Nice for the winner, though. I, I remember the year I won the London Marathon. Tyler. <laughs> Ollie, you explain it. George, competition's good because it makes people try harder and they get better and better. Good point. Keep going. And the better they get, the more they can grind the next guy into the dirt and smash him into little... Okay, pieces. stop going now. Oh, please, George, just learn the game and do your best. Okay, they're batting first. Now, I've had a look at the pitch and it's pretty slow. Although there is a slope which would assist the seamers to leave the batsman coming off the pitch going down the hill. And I think we all know what that means. No, not a word. <laughs> you keep it straight and keep it tight. And have no fear, I myself will be taking the new ball. Will you bring it back? <laughs> Don't you let us down. 